Now that we have a beautiful pie chart, we are going to make sure that this paper is ready to rock and roll, ready to turn in. And at the moment, it's looking a little mm, unfinished. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to line my heading to the proper area. And how I do that is I click on my screen and I just drag to highlight the whole thing and you know it's highlighted by the blue and I realize some of you are thinking um, I know how to do this already so why am I watching this video well I want you to make to make sure that you know how to do it correctly so just keep in mind some people don't know how to do this yet and we're just going to move right along so I'm gonna align this to the right and at the top if I click on home I'll have oops if we click on home, we have the options bar here or the toolbar menu or whatever it is that they're referring to this nowadays. It changes every once in a while. Um, or maybe it doesn't change and I just say it wrong. It could also be that. Um, we have your four buttons up here. And if you hover these over these buttons, you'll see it says line text left. We want a line text right. So I'm going to click on that. And if you're working in an older version of Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word, you can go to format at the top. Go to paragraph and you'll see it here so alignment it's on the right already because I've put it there but if I wanted to align it back to the left click OK see jumps now the shortcut if you want to do it with the shortcuts because there are always like two or three ways to do things in programs you can press control on your keyboard and the letter R and if you're on a Mac it would be command on the keyboard and the letter R. So if you're using a Mac, you whenever I press uh, control or say press control, with the exception of right clicking, you can always press command on your keyboard, which looks like uh, either sometimes it has a little apple on it or it has like weird squiggly marks. But if you're in a PC lab, it's control and the letter R. So we're going to right align this. We are gonna highlight here and we're going to center align your title and that's the middle one here or format paragraph click here I centered or you're gonna press control and the letter E or command and E I want this also to be in bold and to underline it so I'm going to go to bold here which is the B or you can go to format uh, I think it's, I think it's paragraph. I was just kidding, not paragraph, format font. So I was just kidding, not in paragraph. Bold is up here. Uh, or the shortcut is control and the letter B or command B. I'm gonna underline this and you guessed it, it's that U with the underline or format and font. You can do all kinds of crazy cool underlines um, I'm going I'm going for broke I'm going crazy we're doing squiggles you can do different underlines your normal underlines ooh, double squiggles oh my goodness we are this is just crazy business here so I'm gonna click OK oh it doesn't show up that great man do the single Now, if you, of course, just do regular uh, command U or control U, it does a straight normal line, which in business is probably more appropriate, but we're not in business yet. We are just goofing around. So I want my squiggles. Yeah. Now I can also go to undo, just so you know. This is how you undo. You go to edit, undo, or you can press control and Z and it will undo. I can redo which is control and Y. So com control or command Z or control or command Y is redo and undo. Undo is gonna be your best friend at some point in the future, I'm sure. So that's how you do alignment, bolding, and underlining. And we're gonna move on now to spell checking.